Clear. What's going on guys and welcome to free pilot training. Today I've got Thomas with me from VSL Aviation and uh, we're going to show you one weird maneuver that's going to make you a better pilot. Ready for this? I'm ready. Gonna have some fun. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. I'm always interested in getting uh, getting better at flying and uh, this is a maneuver I never heard of so I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's, it's a very simple airplane to take off. Rotate 75, climb 83. Okay. Yeah. We can do, oh yeah, that's the normal procedures brief. Emergency procedures, if we lose an engine below pattern altitude, which is 1400 indicated, Yep. we'll just land straight ahead. I like the grass meeting between the two lanes of the Interstate 40 yep. out there. And then if we lose it above 1000, pattern altitude, turn back to the field. Yeah, so if we're 1000 and below, we're probably not going to make the turnaround? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. probably not. I, this is real similar to a Cherokee, but yeah. I didn't figure she gl glides too well. No, best glide is 90 miles per hour, which is pretty fast, so you got to kind of... 90 miles per hour, okay. Dive it. Yeah. You ready to go? Ready to go. We'll do pre-takeout checklist at the hold short. I'm okay. Go. All right, power's coming in. Cool. Uh, I'm going to check my brakes. Russellville traffic, Skyhawk 314 X-ray, taxi of Alpha 57, Russellville. That airplane name sounds really familiar. Russellville traffic. Musk Musketeer 7914 Lima, taking runway 7 for a west departure. Or sorry, south departure, Russellville. All right, let's. Once we come to the south, let's do that checklist real quick. Just All right, right, so we should got landing lights on. Yeah, landing light, boost pump, mixture full wrench. Uh, make sure it's full rich. Trim step for takeoff, flaps up, lights, camera action. So we got transponder, lights, mixture. All right, good to go. All righty. Let's get your door closed and locked. Yep, got the scoop in. ADSB is clear. Clear final, clear opposite final. Sweet. Oh, my first time flying a musketeer. I'm yeah. pretty stoked. You're going to feel the raw power of the pure <laughs> power. Oh, we got power coming in. All right. Power set. We got good. Airspeed starting to come up here. Steps and pressures are where yeah. we're used to them. They're always like that. Yeah, oil pressure's looking good. Cool. Rotate at 75. We're not there yet. There it is. All right, nose coming up. All right, airborne, we're going to start climbing out at 83 miles per hour. Oh, she's pretty smooth. Yeah. yeah. You feel those, those responsive ailerons, though? They are very responsive. Yeah. I'm like, very genuinely surprised how maneuverable this yeah. thing is. Yeah. Not used to where the trim is, but figured out, I guess. Yeah. I just touch my butt, and then I know that the trim's right there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we'll go to the Holoben practice area. Okay. I the think that's where you guys were. Yeah, we so. were somewhere in the Holoben So probably, area. like... 210-ish. Okay. Heading, we'll get you there. And Russellville traffic. Musketeer 79014 Lima. Making a right turn out uh, to party to the south. Russellville. I'm going to have to get used to saying Musketeer. Yeah. So, Thomas, tell me a little bit about this airplane. I have yeah. not much knowledge about this airplane. So, this is a 1966 Beechcraft Musketeer. Essentially, what this plane is, is a kind of a lighter, shorter, less powerful version of the more successful Beechcraft Sundowner. That's the uh, Beach 23. This is the Beach 19. Beach 19, okay. Russellville traffic, Skyhawk 31. Not to be confused with the Beach 18, a very different airplane. Okay. The, that's the twin engine radial. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so this, built, this plane was built in 1966. It's, uh, like I said, kind of the economy version. It's, it's only got a single door on the passenger side. doesn't have a pilot side door. Um, it's got the light coming O320. It's a 150 horse, fixed pitch prop, four cylinder, all that stuff. Yeah. Burns about seven gallons an hour. Cruises, not a particularly fast airplane, probably about 120. Uh, 120 is maybe op optimistic. Between 100 and 115, somewhere in there. One big benefit this airplane does have is it has a lot of fuel on board. With full tanks, it's got 52 gallons usable. Oh my. And it's it only burns about seven gallons an hour. So you've really got like seven hours of flight time when you got full tanks in this thing. Oh my, that's it's crazy. pretty wild, yeah. I, I topped it off once and I flew it four hours and I came back and I still had half tanks when I got back. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Yep, it's a great airplane. Very easy to fly. I've, I've seen it for sale and I'm like, that looks like a cool airplane, but I don't know anything about it. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't buy that. Yeah, they're, they're good points. I think you can get them really cheap because people don't know about them. Yeah. Like a Cessna, everyone knows how to fly a 172, so the prices on those are exorbitant. Yeah. But Musketeers and Sundowners, it's, it's a similar performing airplane, similar category, but it's way more economical yeah. to yeah. purchase. Seems like. Yeah. That's too cool, man. Yeah. So what's this first maneuver, what's this first weird maneuver we're going to be doing today? Yeah, so this weird maneuver that people are not super familiar with, we call it the uh, falling leaf stall, or really just the falling leaf. I usually perform my stalls at like 3,500, so we're, we're kind of climbing our way up there. Um, yeah. But once we're up there, what we'll do is, essentially we'll do a power off stall, but then instead of recovering to a to like a, a nose down pitch, We'll just kind of let the nose come down briefly, just get just below the stall, and then again we'll just pull straight back, get another stall going, and we'll just kind of be oscillating in this little fugoid oscillation between stalling and breaking the stall. And essentially it lets us fly the plane at kind of our, our minimum possible airspeed, and gives us some familiarity with how the plane flies in that like minimum performance regime. Helps us with our rudders, helps us with our, our kind of aileron control. Everything's going to feel really mushy. Okay. Yeah. This is really interesting. It, this is the first time Seth was talking about this the other day. And uh, we actually did five maneuvers with him. And, uh, you know, we forgot to do this one. And so this is actually, uh, this is good. So I get to benefit off of Seth's yeah. forgetfulness. <laughs> um, yeah, you get a whole different airplane in your logbook now. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty <laughs> stoked about this. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll just have you demo it first, sure. and then uh, Absolutely. I'll try my hand at it, see if I can uh, Sweet. make it look similar to yours. Yeah. Yeah, I've never done it in this airplane. I've only done it in a Cessna 150. Oh, okay. So it's probably going to feel a little different, but we'll do our best. Sounds good. Yeah. One thing I was I was mentioning earlier, this air the airplane has really big ailerons. Yeah. So as a result, it's got a lot of adverse yaw. So in a stall, it's it's very common that it'll start dropping a wing, one way or the other. So this this airplane is really good for teaching like rudder control in stalls. Like you got to push that opposite rudder. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be probably doing that a lot in the falling leaf. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Established in slow flight. Power is coming to idle. I want to get really slow. Just looking out the window. So we're starting with the normal stall, just like we normally would. Yeah, so I'm just pulling the plane just above the horizon. Skyhawk 30 Lima Alpha, taxiing from the ramp to runway 25, Russell traffic. As soon as it drops, I'm just going to kind of let it drop. Let it build up a little bit of speed. Come right above the horizon, hold it there. Should drop again. And then I'm going to let it build up some more speed. Kind of recover. I'm using rudder to make sure those wings don't drop. Interesting. Coming up. Just holding it right there, right above the horizon. Letting it come down. And I'm really just keeping my back pressure pretty much the same all the way through. Oh, weird. We're, so we're just kind of fall. Yeah. Just literally falling like a leaf right now. Yep. A little tiny bit of oscillation in the yoke where I'm letting it come maybe five degrees below the horizon and then back to five degrees above the horizon. So oh, it's just kind of giving us a little 700 foot per minute descent as I'm kind of coming in and out of that stalled regime. That is super weird. Catch the wing drop with the rudder. She's just singing, isn't she? Yep, there's a drop. Keep pulling. So this is just like a chain of secondary stalls, essentially. That's super cool. Falling like leaf. All right, we're going to come out of it now. Yeah, sounds right, good. Hour. Lost about 500 feet during that. Not too bad. Or maybe a little more. Let me give it a shout yeah, here. Yeah, your, your controls. My controls. So you're restabilized now, but for a second there, it was kind of off. All right, so we're already we're in the wide arc. We're going to go ahead and lower the flaps. All right. Ready to slow inner speed. Current beat's coming on here. I'm going to try to, my best, to ma maintain 180. Yeah. We'll see how good I am here. There's the first one. Got that wing dip there in this. Yep. 
Got good, a lot more good recovery on with, this plane. with rudder. Nice. There it is. It's a lot harder than it looks because yeah. this plane is very keep susceptible that. to that wing dip. Yeah, keep the yoke back. We'll get her in that little that fugoid. Little fugoid motion there. Yeah. Something Seth showed me today. Oh, there she is. There you go. Sweet. Okay, nice. we're, now we're kind of in that little yeah. porpoising zone of like trying to make... There it is. Yeah, beautiful. This is super interesting. Josh, the Super CFI. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm just the average go Joe. I go to Bucky's like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So we're getting comfortable now in that little low speed yeah. performance regime. Kind of going back and forth here. This is our lowest possible airspeed. We're doing about 55 miles per hour currently. This plane stalls a little faster than a Cessna, so that's pretty slow for this plane. Nice, fallen leaf. I'm genuinely like, and we're just kind of amazed at that. Gently falling at about 700 feet per minute right now. We're kind of in a controlled stall. Well, and it just shows how stable this airplane is. Yeah. Super interesting. Yeah, it looks like you've got it dialed in a little bit of left aileron. Yeah, it's like holding it left aileron. Yeah. I think that's oh, yeah. going a little too far on that one. Hey, this is interesting. Yeah. All right, we're going to recover. Sweet. Full power. Car beat. Probably a little fast on the power there. First notch. Nice job. That was good. Thank you. Hey, let's go have some fun now. Yeah, let's do it. Can you go land on Penny Jean? Sure. You know this area better I than do, me. Is she yeah. right ahead here? Yep, we're going to set up for... Uh, yeah. 45 to runway 4, probably. Don't let me distract you here. No, you're good. Actually, how about you do it? I'll, All right. I'll coach you through it. Your All controls. Right. Pilot's controls. Let me get the frequencies. All right, we do have some traffic. I'll be watching him. He's near Pettigene. Looks like he's turning north down, though. All right, C-top 229. I want to get you some altitudes and things real quick. Kind of okay. altitude is 2,000. 2,000. Start coming down. And down to two. We're going to use runway three. Runway three. Okay, so we'll set up for a left base here. Yep, exactly. So pretty... You got the field site right here? Oh, yeah, I see you it. The lake. There's the hangar on the end. We're pretty well set. You, you can kind of join that 45 to the downwind and then left base. Yeah, we'll just do a 45 to the downwind here. Sweet. Well, see you. Petty Jean traffic, my steer 7914 Lima, approximately two miles west of the field, inbound, 245 left downwind runway 03, Petty Jean. Uh, Petty Jean traffic, my steer 14 Lima, we're established left downwind runway 03. Full stop, Petty Jean. All right, so the end of the lake oh. is where the end of the runway is. Oh, I see it now. So, what's my approach speed here again? So, I like 95, 85, and then like 80, 75 to 80. 95, 85, 80. So, you're miles looking good. Hey, for miles per hour. So you can all probably right, go carb heat, first notch, all that good stuff now. All right. I'm low. Yeah, a little bit. So I uh, forgot to mention there's a giant RV flying at Petty Jean right now. Oh. <laughs> I can see all the planes on the, on the, that's awesome. Is that why we're doing a uh, full stop here? I didn't even think about that. I, but yeah, let's go check out some RVs. Yeah, that sounds good, man. All right. Fuel pumps on. Yeah, so on. I say probably 1900 is good for pattern. We're just getting a little low. Yeah. Sweet. A little drug in. We're correcting with power here. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. You're right at 85. Sweet. 95, 85, 75. This is a little bit more what I'm used to is a little tricycle gear. Yeah. I'm getting my tailwheel endorsement with. Here, boss. Golf cart crossing on the south end. Golf cart crossing on the south end. I got him in sight. No factor. Golf cart in sight. No factor. Let's tier 14 Lima turning final runway 03 Pettigeen. All right, he's across. 14 Lima, 21's in use, sir. If you can establish on a left downwind for 21, please. Roger, 21. Roger, 21 in use, joining left downwind 21. Pettigeen. That's what. That's what happens with comp winds. Yeah. The RV is taking over. All right, power's power's in. Car heats off. Look good. For the climb here. Yep. All right. That's a lot speed. of RVs. You done to Regime traffic RV six five eight zero tail over Jetsy for uh, runway three straight in. <laughs> 
365 Hotel, Roger, if uh, establish on a left downwind for runway 21. Runway 21 in use. Whoa, this is crazy. I've never heard so many people here. I ain't me neither. That's like a controlled. Yeah, so 2000 is kind of altitude. We're climbing up here. We might not be able to make it all the way up. Yeah. Can we call it left downwind? I'll call it if not. Is the air boss up? Go ahead. What is? Yeah, 65 Hotel. This is the air boss. Can you, uh, you read me? You're good. They know where we are. Okay. Southern traffic is 65994. is Eight and a half. 6-1 Hotel, this is the air boss, you copy? They gotta get that guy off the straight for three so we yeah. can land. You down to shut down and look at the RVs for yeah, a little let's bit? let's do it, man. Sweet. Get some B-roll. Yeah. 6-1 Hotel, this is the air boss, Petty G Mountain, do you copy? Oops, so, straight what? for three. So what's an air boss? I never... So air boss is a thing that they do for uh, air shows. Pedagene Air Boss, 658 Sierra Hotel, 8 miles straight in for runway 3. No. 658 Hotel, uh, Sierra Hotel, this is Must Tier 1 Fort Lima. We're on the left downwind for 2 1. Advise that uh, the Pedagene Air Boss is saying that 2 1 is in use. Enter left downwind 2 1, Pedagene. Pain Sierra Hotel, thank you. Thanks for the relay. Roger. Yeah, start cutting around. I'm slow here, I'm correcting. Roger. Looking good. Alright, you got the hangers in sight? Yeah, that's the end of the runway. Looking good. Hey, Pedigy traffic. Musketeer 7914 Lima, left base 2 1. Pedigy. 1 4 Lima, Roger. Altimeter 3013, winds 180 at 4. Thank you, sir. 1 4 Lima. Pretty stoked about this one, man. Yeah. So this this airport was previously owned by the Rockefellers. That's why it exists. So when are we gonna buy this? Oh, dude, it's for sale. Let's go. You want to? Yeah. If I, I had I everyone mean, buy a hat or a T-shirt, that's a subscriber. Yeah, we could pay we might, for it. We might be able to get like a hanger on it or something. Sweet. <laughs> All, right. All right. Trim for about 80. And then uh, yeah, pitch for yeah, power for altitude. Uh, good here. We're high, but we're correcting. And Pettigene traffic, Musketeer 7914 Lima, final 2-1, two one. Two one. Pettigene. Yeah, it took me a second. Oh, you're good. Look, look you're good. A little slow. Pitch it down. All right, gears down, welded, lights, boost pumps, everything's good. Everything looks good. A little mechanical turbulence over these trees. This uh, throttle's going to take some getting used to, though. Yeah, so when you're ready to go idle, just push the button and pull it straight out. Oh, okay. Yeah. It lands pretty flat, lands like a Cherokee, just kind of let it coast down the runway. Don't try to overflare it. Okay. Probably going to land a touch long, but it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. We got a long. Got a Jean Air Boss, uh, 6580 Hotel. Yeah, just let her float. Zero 08 Hotel, Air Boss. What's the uh, chances of doing the uh, balloon circuit here? Beautiful job. Excellent touchdown. We'll roll her out to the end. Okay. There's no taxiways here, it's just a big runway. Yeah, I saw the big loop at the end. Yeah. Looks like we'll be parking in the grass next to that Cessna, I'd say. today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see five more weird maneuvers to make you a better pilot, be sure to check out this video right here. And uh, I'm going to be over there with Seth Lake from BSL Aviation. He runs this contraption uh, yeah. Thomas here works for. My boss. And uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And, you know, I thought I wasn't going to learn something in that video, and I actually learned a ton. Yeah. Uh, Seth's probably one of the smartest people I know. I oh, hope yeah. you guys enjoy that video. Be sure to click it and uh, we'll see you over there.
Approach, you're not going to believe this. I just bought it free pilot training. I'm going to keep on watching.